Welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. Mike Lowry, president of Transcendent Consulting, was our guest on our last show, and his words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services' website, newmanconsultingservices.com, or our landing page, danelia.org. Joining us today in the studio as our honor guest is Mrs. Vanessa Perez, CEO of S3 Career Consulting and Network Guru. Mahalo for joining us today, Vanessa. Well, hi, Danielia and John. Thanks so much for having me here today. It's an honor to, to join you. you. Yes, right. great to see you. Great to have you right. on the show. Thank you so and much. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with, between two <laughs> Aussies here, you know. I, I, I can't understand anything anybody says. <laughs> we'll try not to break out into any slang there, John. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, all righty. Vanessa, share with us uh, a little about S Career con uh, Networking and uh, Consulting, yeah. and uh, what prompted you to to start the business. Yeah, well, well thanks. I created S3 uh, Career Consulting uh, about three years ago now, and the driving force for me to do that was that I was working with transitioning military and training them to prepare for their next careers. Mm -hmm. um, and I loved the job so much, and I knew that I had a lot to offer because I've spent most of my life recruiting and hiring people. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to do a little bit more mm -hmm. so um, and work a bit more individually and have a wider reach than what I had in, you know, one particular classroom, for instance. So, so I knew I had a bit more to offer to help veterans prepare and posture for the current career marketplace. So I started my business and uh, initially started writing resumes that got results, you know, federal resumes, private sector resumes. and. Uh, really uh, put a lot of emphasis on LinkedIn as being that niche capability and that gap mm -hmm. that I provided that really isn't being provided well enough at the moment in mm -hmm. the transition process. Mm -hmm. um, I know they'll get it soon enough, mm -hmm. but you know it's an important aspect to getting uh, anybody ready for their next you know professional opportunities. Oh yes, absolutely. Um, I'm a 27-year retired vet oh, no. myself, so I'm a veteran, Thank and I know exactly what you're talking about. And uh, uh, I was there, so I yes. know that type of help is essential it for is. our young men and women that mm -hmm. are transitioning from the, the military back into the civil sector. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we applaud you for that. Oh, thank you. And you okay. know, you, you know as well that my heart's with the veteran Absolutely. and the military community. Yes. I served 23 years with the Australian Army, yeah. and as you know, my husband Bill was a 24-year Marine Corps veteran as well. Right. You know, right. the military community is our family, and oh, yes. and I I do think when you know, people have knowledge that they can pass on, mm -hmm. um, that it's important to share that, you know, particularly if it makes a difference. So mm -hmm. that's what drives me. And right. um, I'm so honoured to have worked with so many fascinating, yeah. oh, yeah. so many fascinating people at all mm -hmm. levels of the military across all services. Yeah. And it's, it's a joy to see that, you know, a little bit of coaching and a little bit of branding and marketing can make yeah. the world of difference. Mm -hmm to their next career success. Right. And, and actually, that, that comes into the next question, which is right. how important is networking to growing a business, a new job, or advancing your career? Well, engaging with people is essential for everything. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we're creatures that need social interaction. And, you know, when we're creating something new or when we're um, looking at moving into a different area that we may not be familiar with, you know, the first thing that you need to start doing is who can I align myself with that can coach me, mentor me, guide me, right. teach me? Um, and who can I network with to promote what it is that I do or what mm -hmm. I have to sell or, or what it is that I need to achieve with my goals? Mm -hmm. um, so professional networking is just a great term to actually mm -hmm. encompass all of that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I know we're going to talk a lot more about LinkedIn down the track, yes, but yeah. it's, mm -hmm. it's a really important aspect today to people posturing for career success, business success. Right. Okay. Right. Now, networking done correctly could really transform a business. And uh, mm -hmm. when it's done incorrectly, it yeah. can stagnate a business as well. So right. what are some of your top principles when it comes to good networking? You know, I, uh, it's a good question, John. Um, I think it just comes back to the importance of being who you are, mm -hmm. being genuine, authentic, mm -hmm. having the credibility there too. Mm -hmm. um, 
in giving people the confidence to know that you know what you're on about, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you're offering advice and guidance and wisdom about something, you want to you want to really be established as a subject matter expert, or you want people to to perceive you that way, or be able to mm -hmm. research you and find out. Mm -hmm. And then they can trust you. They mm -hmm. trust your credibility, your professional credibility, mm -hmm. and. Just being yourself and being authentic and genuine is just so important mm. when you're establishing trusting relationships, whether mm. it be for career, personal goals or for business. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we, we say and we teach in our, in our uh, programs that in order to reach someone's heart, you have to come from your heart. Right, I think and so. once they know that you are genuinely concerned right. uh, with their well-being and to help them grow and prosper, uh, yeah. they're very more concept uh, perceptive to what you have to give them. Totally agree. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you say give, that's really important mm -hmm. with building trusting relationships. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you offer your insight and wisdom in a way that allows people to learn from you or grow from what you teach them or that they um, are able to create an opportunity or get a mutual benefit from that mm -hmm. exchange. Mm -hmm. That's really important. Oh, yes. And, you know, it's if, if you can give without mm -hmm. the expectation of something in return, mm -hmm. um, it's pleasing not only to you, but when people can get a benefit from mm -hmm. what you have to offer. I think I spend about a minimum of 20 hours a week where I actually engage with people within my you know, mm -hmm. LinkedIn network and I offer insight and wisdom and tips and coaching and you know, I write mm -hmm. stuff so that they learn from and I wish I had time to do a lot more of it and um, I'll talk a little bit down the track of something else that I'm just about to start doing mm -hmm. that'll okay. enable me to give back more. Great. Okay. So what's the difference between a networker and like a highly effective networker and what's a masterful networker because I've heard these terms and uh, I was curious to if you could give us some insight on that. Right, masterful is a good word isn't yes. it? I tend to use the term strategic oh, networking good. and strategic engagement yeah. and I suppose the proof's in the pudding, really, isn't yes, it? Yeah. I mean, you know you're good when you get results. Well, so right. what, just, what did you just no. say? The proof is in the pudding. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You two talking too fast here. All right, come on. Slow down. Catch up, all right? Come on. <laughs> I suppose the, the, uh, when you see results come about mm. from what you do, not only for yourself or your business or your career, when you see other people um, gaining successful opportunities because of your networking mm -hmm. or your ability to introduce them to an opportunity and I do that mm -hmm. daily mm -hmm. you know uh, mm -hmm. and it's exciting mm -hmm. um, I, so it might be a good time to actually talk about strategic networking mm -hmm. and, and how people can actually use LinkedIn or other sorts of events to do strategic networking mm -hmm. and engagement. Just just before we get there, one of mm -hmm. the one of the things and you know in talking to people, we all have different personalities. Oh, yes. And you know, many people are apprehensive about networking right. because they feel that they have to sell themselves, right. you know, they have to market themselves right. and they're uh, you know, individuals become very uh, introverted, yes. you know, and they're just kind of have that fear to get out there and introduce themselves and all that sort of thing. So, yeah. you know, what would your advice be to people who fall in this category? Yeah. You can't get more opposite than my husband and I. <laughs> I am like um, glass overflowing, a room uh, full of a hundred people and I yes. want to meet every single person. Uh -huh. And my husband is terrified to go into a room, right? Yes. So we're totally extreme, introvert, extrovert. And, uh -huh. and I, so I get it. I get that people are fearful meeting strangers or, mm -hmm. you know, talking about themselves. The military are a classic example of mm -hmm. feeling like they're bragging or somehow coming across as ingenuine if they talk about themselves. Mm -hmm. um, I try to get them to talk about their experiences and their expertise mm -hmm. instead of themselves. But mm -hmm. there's a couple of things that I like to challenge veterans to do or anybody that I work with in coaching mm -hmm. them. If they feel nervous or uncomfortable or introverted and shy, one of the best challenges you could set yourself is to meet new people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like to say, your challenge now is to meet four new people every single day. Mm. It doesn't really matter where you meet them, mm -hmm. in the car park, in the line up for Starbucks while mm -hmm. you're getting coffee, mm -hmm. go and help a mum carry her groceries. Mm -hmm. And chance meetings 
can flourish. It, we had a chance meeting yeah, when we first true. met. So you know, true. and I have a darling friend, lifelong friend like you, mm. a really great lifelong friend, Emma Chapman. Hi, Emma. Mm -hmm. She laughs all the time and she says, you're the best thing I ever found at Costco. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love and it. we will be lifelong friends through a chance yes. meeting. Yeah. You know, when you feel nervous about meeting strangers, one of the best things you can do is just pay a compliment. Mm -hmm. It starts a conversation, um, makes the receiver feel fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you, when you give a well-received compliment, I guarantee mm -hmm. it'll put a spring in your step. You know? Well, actually, well, that's how we met, because you walked over to me and said, oh my fabulous. gosh, somebody looked... else is dressed as <laughs> professionally as I am. <laughs> So, so, we, we, I, th I said, oh, we're like the only two people in Hawaii, two people in Hawaii <laughs> wearing circles. Let me hold you two ladies down. You're going to get too cushy here. Let's get back to a question. Mm, right. Okay. How does someone network if they want to grow their business? Right. Wow. Um, I say LinkedIn, 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 <laughs> and a range of other things, right? And I, I, I'm, if I might just... Um, cap on a couple of other things mm -hmm. about people who are nervous or anxious about, mm -hmm. you know, meeting strangers as well. And um, you can grow that confidence by choosing your own setting, a setting that makes you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So if you love to go hiking, mm -hmm. join a hiking group mm -hmm. and meet people who mm -hmm. share an interest or a passion with you and then the interaction can be a lot more comfortable. That's okay. a great you suggestion. Don't, if you don't feel yeah. comfortable in a room of 100 people sipping yeah. champagne, yeah. Don't, don't force yourself yeah. to do those things. But you know another really great tip as well is Toastmasters is a fantastic organisation that really instills confidence in uh -huh. people who aren't accustomed to speaking mm -hmm. in front of audiences or speaking in front of people they don't know and it, it's a great way for people to build confidence in you know, right. being able to engage and interact. Mm -hmm. Public right. speaking is one of the fe most feared things for, yes. for most people, it's, you know. Yes. Uh, they would jump off Mount Kilimanjaro, right. but they're afraid to stand up in front of 20 right. people and speak their mind. In yeah. fact, um, they say that 78% of men are more fearful of public speaking than death. <laughs> yeah, well, we totally agree. I, I tend to agree with you. We, yeah. We're going to take a short break. Wow. Um, this is Keys to Success on Think Tech Live Streaming Network Series. Vanessa Perez, President of S3 Career Consulting regarding network, networking's Keys to Success. That's actually our theme for this show. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm now the half of the duo, John Newman. We'll be returning in a minute, so please stay tuned for more Keys to Success. Hi, I'm Chris Leatham with Think Tech Hawaii, and I'd like to ask you to come watch my show, The Economy and You, each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Aloha, I'm Chantal Seville, host of the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii, and I'm going on tour. I'm taking you around the world. We're going to Canada, and then we're going to, well, we're in America, then we're going to San Francisco. So keep staying tuned, 11 a.m. every Wednesday on the Savvy Chick Show. We'll see you next time. Aloha, my name is Richard Emery, and I host Condo Insider. We talk about issues facing the Condo Association throughout Hawaii and talk about solutions. When you think about it, about one-third of our population lives in some form of common interest real estate. We broadcast every Thursday at 3 p.m. Please tune in. Tune in, and thank you. Aloha. Welcome back. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at thinktechhi if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Vanessa Perez, CEO of S3 Career Consulting. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back to the show. Vanessa. Hi, John. All right, yeah. good on you. I know you're just overflowing with information that you want to share, okay? All righty, so let's get right to it. You know, what does network, what is successful network networking? And uh, when did you uh, feel that you had become successful in networking? Right. I would, I would cap on what I touched on a little bit earlier, and I think when you start to see results of the professional networking and the professional engagements. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, 
um, I've been able to, um, we talked about face-to-face -face networking and that's a whole lot different to networking professionally online using platforms such as mm -hmm. LinkedIn, which is the largest professional networking platform on the planet. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I've really been able to leverage and take professional networking to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. I can absolutely meet new people face to face in a mm -hmm. room and, bu and mm -hmm. build trusting relationships. Mm -hmm. But then you remove that element of personality mm -hmm. and energy and enthusiasm mm -hmm. and you're looking at words only mm -hmm. yes. to create that relationship, to build mm -hmm. and nurture that relationship. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different kind of engaging altogether. Well, mm -hmm. it's interesting because I've watched you, I say work a room, but I've watched you network a room. Right. And I was in awe of really? watching you. Oh yeah, you were absolutely fantastic. Really? But I'm going to tell you, for people who are a little more apprehensive about doing that and not comfortable, LinkedIn is a great avenue oh, for them to phenomenal. use. Absolutely. It's phenomenal. Yeah. But, um, but, but let's, let's look at that. Let's yeah, just yeah. go back to that. Okay, interface to face communication. Right. Let's talk yeah. about that. What do you feel are some of the key questions that you should ask? You know, it's a good question because what you ask people really allows you to, to build that relationship and what you ask allows, it determines the swiftness of mm -hmm. that trust, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, I love people. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel like I work a room in a traditional sense because yeah. I actually genuinely want to meet a yes, hundred people do. and I want to yes. learn about them and I want to find what is passionate what they love, what drives them, what motivates them mm -hmm. and what they're interested about. And if you want to learn something about somebody really quickly and engage with them on a level, we enter maybe an element of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Find out what they love, what they're passionate about. What mm -hmm. do they do when they're not working? Mm -hmm. I can talk to people for an hour and not even know what they do. I've known people for years and I don't even know what they do for a career because mm -hmm. I get fascinated about them and what they love to do. And, mm -hmm. and so I think when you're meeting people that you've never met before, your ability to establish a, a rapport instantly is really important. And I love to teach veterans how to handshake. Oh, yes. Well, that's a part of our, yeah. that's our a program. That's a great not only, handshake. Not only vet yes. veterans, just Everybody. anybody knows. Yeah, right. Because Everybody. women Absolutely. usually uh, feel that they shouldn't give a strong handshake. Ooh. I mean, Ooh. and a man tends to feel that they shouldn't give a woman a strong right, answer yeah. but that's disrespecting that woman right, because absolutely. that woman is a person just as yep. uh, astute as you are yes. you know she's yes. just as professional as you are right. mm -hmm. i mean you're a king she's a queen yeah. so you meet on that level right. and you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, give a, a a fish what do you call it baby a, a wet fish a, a wet, wet fish a, a, a wet fish, <laughs> oh, a wet fish. Tell you what, this makes and breaks deals doesn't yeah, it, it that, does. makes absolutely. and breaks oh, anything yeah. it's absolutely. eye contact the smile, right. the handshake, mm -hmm. the right handshake. Mm -hmm. right. And you know, if you mess it up, just do it again. Right. You know, you could go, oh, I was going to say but, something Australian. You could go, you know what? Let's, let's don't do we this. Do and let's don't hold on too tight yeah. right. and too long. Or two, <laughs> like, three, three shakes is enough. Right. <laughs> so uh. those, those, that ability to connect yeah. physically with people, um, and when you do it well, mm -hmm. it allows you to establish those trusting relationships or build it really swiftly. So th those things are really important. How do you connect then, because you're not able to handshake with somebody on LinkedIn or online, right. how do you connect with somebody online? You know, it's all about trust, right? Mm -hmm. And the, one of the first things I say to people, when you want to build a swift relationship fast, mm -hmm. that's based on trust is, people need to know more about you. Mm -hmm. If they know more about you, they'll determine whether they want to engage with you or not. Mm -hmm. um, and LinkedIn's a perfect opportunity for people to create their authentic, mm -hmm. genuine career story or their professional story. Mm -hmm. And when you let people know about you, in a, in a way that allows them to get to know you, mm -hmm. what your expertise is, what you have to offer, mm -hmm. um, and you present that in a beautiful way, you use mm -hmm. images to complement the content, right? Then, and you have a photo, mm -hmm. a, a good quality photo yes. that lets people know who you are, yes. how you present, what's your style like. Right. And if you can, and if you can add video yes. and multimedia elements to your portfolio, it helps people get to know you quickly. Mm -hmm. They get to see what your energy and enthusiasm is like, your style, your charisma, mm -hmm. how you present, how you communicate. And when you look at LinkedIn as not an online resume, but a portfolio of your full body of work, mm -hmm. and you provide examples and samples and video and images, 
And then you have that content validated by other network professionals, other professionals in your network where they endorse your skills and your expertise and they give you recommendations, then all of those things wrap up into the ability for someone that doesn't know you to trust who you are and what you've done. Mm -hmm. Now, what you just said is one of the key factors in our program, which we uh, complement each other, uh, our, our firms. Uh, right. Presentation oh, yes. is everything. It is. It's it how is. you present it. It is. And that's something that people need to focus on. Right. Uh, I don't care how much you know or how wonderful you are, if it isn't presented correctly, you're, right. you're going to lose. It's one of the unique things that I bring to the table. You know, I served 19 of 23 years in yes. Australia. I served with, within Special Operations Command. So I'm a bit unconventional. Mm -hmm. And I do things differently. And, it, and, it, and what I do gets results. And when people who are changing uh, career, and particularly veterans, when they realise that to be postured for success in the current global career marketplace, it's about branding and marketing. That's so it's true. It's about how you present mm -hmm. yourself and your mm -hmm. expertise or what it is that people need to know about mm -hmm. you. Exactly. It's, if you, and you must have an online identity and an mm -hmm. online reputation. Oh, I know a lot days, of military absolutely. like stay away from any yeah. kind of online um, branding at all. It's essential right. today. Right. Nobody's going to trust you or hire you unless they know about right. you. Right. People don't realise that every single day there are two billion names Googled. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. And you will be looked up. So oh, yeah. when you're searched, what do people see on you? Yeah, do you like it? Right. If you don't, if you have nothing there mm -hmm. and you don't like what people see, then you need to shape that yes. um, and create a brand and identity. Mm -hmm. And be unique and be different. You know, businesses businesses get ahead by differentiating themselves from their competitors. Mm -hmm. And they don't need to, to reinvent the wheel, but the key thing is they need to take the time to Google themselves. Oh, to, yes. to, and you'll be surprised what you oh, see. Yes. I mean, we've had people come back to us and said, they had a picture of me when I was 12. How did they get that picture of me? <laughs> right. You know, you'll right. be surprised what's out there. And as you said, you need to know what's right. out there. You do need to know what's out there. And not only about yourself, but people who share your identity. Yeah. Um, and you'll notice that, that when I'm, when my online identity on LinkedIn, I'm Vanessa Machen Perez, because mm -hmm. I'm the only one with that name on the planet. It's right. like 10,000 Vanessa Perez's. Yes. And I think there's about six in Hawaii mm. alone. Is that right? Yeah, I think four <laughs> have a criminal record, which, which isn't good. So, I, right. so, so what, I need, what I do and I teach people to do is differentiate themselves so you don't have mistaken identity. Uh -huh. What makes you unique and different? Right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Businesses do it, individuals Absolutely. need to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. In, by 2020, it's predicted that 40% of the entire global workforce will be freelancers, contractors, mm -hmm. um, subcontractors. Mm -hmm. They'll either own a global small business or they'll work for one. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we all know that people aren't working for more than three and four mm -hmm. years at a time with organisations now. They're doing gigs and they're doing mm -hmm. contracting work. And just like any musician who's already launched their last album, when they create their next one, mm -hmm. they have to rebrand. Right. Oh, yes. You've got to know about branding yeah. yourself mm -hmm. and what it is that you provide so that people will hire you buy your product or service. Mm -hmm. And and we need to start thinking about ourselves as individuals, as right. a commodity. Well, what kind of mistakes did you make oh, through lots. your networking <laughs> career? You know, I, had, I, I, and, I know. How, and how did you push through those hard times? No, no, we only have a certain amount of time. I know. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the things, um, I've produced a couple of books, so I type like this, like, mm -hmm. hello, I can type faster than I speak. Me too. I can too. <laughs> yes. and well, and look, I'm not going to fall into that trap. Okay? <laughs> I'm just going to say yes, dear. You know, one of the things I do too much of, and I've learned to wind it back in and reel it in, you know, when you are developing relationships with people um, and professionals online particularly, is don't flood them with too much. Like, I used to write messages this long, mm -hmm. and, I'd, and yeah. I'm sometimes a bit too honest, and I've got that honest, yeah. candid Australianness about me, and I'll offer people tips about their LinkedIn profile, because I, because it, okay, oh my God, like, what are you thinking? Like, yeah. you, I've got to tell you this, right? And then before you know it, they've never met me, they don't know anything yeah. about me, and I've given them all these <laughs> things to say, this is what you need to fix. So right. I take it back a notch, and I just have a couple of exchanges right. before I 
move forward. Jump and on. I ask permission now of people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I say, may I offer you a few tips? Always, <laughs> always. <laughs> then they don't cry. Always, always. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> not only that, but, you know, one of the things, I mean, I, I learned how to network by watching John. Right. Because when you watch somebody, you know, I'm, I'm more of an introvert and John's more of a, you know, extrovert. And yeah. so um, I watched him network and I actually learned by watching him. And so, you know, LinkedIn, when you're looking at networking, you know, out in uh, networking a room or something, yeah. you know, watching somebody who does it. Right. You learn so much. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, now, this is keys to success. Mm -hmm. And we have a signature question that we ask all of our guests. All right, this is the $64,000 question. <laughs> what yep. are your three success habits? My three success habits. Your networking success My habits. My three networking success habits. I'm going to go back to what I've already mentioned before because I think okay. it's critical. Yep. All right. Just be One. yourself. Be yourself. Be genuine. Be genuine. Be honest. Be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Give back. Okay. When you're growing relationships with people, offer, give back. Mm -hmm. um, help them mm -hmm. okay. get ahead. And connect people. Yes. There's so much opportunity out there. And when you introduce people who have shared interests or goals, connecting, that, connecting those individuals can create magic. Yes. Oh, Stand yes. back and watch it happen. Yes. It's exciting. All right. That's that. Right. Right. So what is the last piece of counsel that you could give our viewers and listeners regarding networking keys to success? And um, professional networking keys yes. to success is, um, I say, um, if people want to be postured for the current career global marketplace, okay. whether it be for personal reasons, business or career, they got to be on LinkedIn. Yes. Mm. They've got to be on LinkedIn. You've got to create your authentic career story, make it engaging. You've got to grow your network. You can strategically target the people that you need to network with for your business, for your career. Okay. You can find your next boss. Thank right. you. We're out of time. We'll have to wrap it up. Vanessa Perez's words of wisdom with regards to keys to networking success can be found on Newman Consulting Services webpage, newmanconsultingservices.com and landing page denelia.org. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for joining us today and sharing your insights to networking success. Thanks, Denelia John. Think Tech Keys to Success will be back next Thursday at 11 a.m. We ask that you tune in again and ask your friends and family to do so as well. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. And in closing today, Danelia and I would like to share a quote from Ed Matt Mann, which says, perfecting your presentation. Perfecting your presentation is the most important work you can do. Thank you all. Aloha. Aloha.